Mothers who place their children for adoption often face many challenges, one of them being to inaccurately perceive adoption as abandonment. But mothers who make an adoption plan for their children, rather than the tragedy of abortion, are not abandoning, abandoning their children. Rather, they are exemplifying the sacrificial love of Christ on the cross in choosing to do what is best for their children. Like Christ, they pour out their bodies and souls for the sake of another. The gospel reminds us that in the face of fears and trials, we can hold fast to the hope that lies before us. Today is day six of our novena for respect for life and also the memorial of Saints Timothy and Titus, bishops of our church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear friends, in order to worthily celebrate this Mass, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who adorned Saints Timothy and Titus with apostolic virtues, grant that through this intercession of them both, that living justly and devoutly in this present age, we may merit to reach our heavenly homeland. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, for the promise of life in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my dear child, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to God, whom I worship with a clear conscience as my ancestors did, as I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day. I yearn to see you again, recalling your tears, so that I may be filled with joy as I recall your sincere faith that first lived in your grandmother, Lois, and in your mother, Eunice, and that I am confident lives also in you. For this reason, I remind you to stir into flame the gift of God that you have through the imposition of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self-control. So do not be ashamed of your testimony to the Lord, nor of me, a prisoner for his sake, but bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to God. be to God. Proclaim God's merciful, excuse me, proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim, proclaim God's, God's marvelous, marvelous deeds, deeds to all, all the nations. nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim God's, God's marvelous God's deeds, deeds to all to the, all the nations. nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all, to the, all nations. the nations. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory do his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, 
the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord Jesus appointed 72 others disciples whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers to his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves his pay. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter, they welcome you. Eat what is set before you. Cure the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Yesterday we celebrated the memorial, the, the feast of the conversion of St. Paul. As we always have reflected that we know Paul is considered as the apostle to the Gentiles and he has really dedicated and given himself towards the proclamation of the Word of God through all the nations. Like in the journeys of St. Paul, we could see that he have really dedicated traveling and going even to the most farthest place of the world just simply to proclaim the Word of God. Today is the memorial of Saints Timothy and Titus, and they are great companions of Saint Paul as well, as they also possess the apostolic succession because they are considered bishops of our church. We could just simply be amazed how the Word of God has been transmitted and the early Christian communities have grown because of this dedicated early apostles and bishops who have established the early Christian communities. Timothy and Titus have fully dedicated themselves, have also lived the tradition, the words that the apostles themselves have shown, and especially their witness to Jesus has just been spread throughout the world, and they just have simply dedicated according to the very words of Jesus himself. Go out through all the world and proclaim the good news. In like manner, in our gospel today is the continued invitation of Jesus to 
send laborers to his harvest. Truly, the work of God's kingdom is never ending, even until now. The works of the apostles and the command of Jesus is now being given to all of us in the guidance of the Holy Spirit through our church that we live in even at the present moment. Today, the workings of the Holy Spirit through our church is still alive and like a fire that burns within us. It's the same calling like Timothy and Titus that they have committed even in the ancient times. And so, my dear friends, each day is truly one opportunity for us. The calling still remains the same. For all of us, disciples and followers of Jesus, let us continue to discern these very words of God within our own lives as well. As what St. Paul has also said to the early disciples, Timothy and Titus, put into yourself and never be ashamed to proclaim and become those instruments to testify for my word. Because for God, his spirit will always give us courage and strength because we radiate in us the very face of Jesus. Jesus' message of salvation and his own life are the guidelines in seeking God's will. Let us pray to God our Father that we may follow and live his word. That the church may live the spirit of the gospel and always seek God's will. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may deepen our faith by extending services to the poor, the handicapped, and the disadvantaged. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That we may become true members of God's family by being faithful to the will of the Heavenly Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may make God's word alive in us by living it out in the daily circumstances of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find perpetual light and eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May expectant mothers choosing adoption receive grace and support in embracing this loving option. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayers. For Porphyria Rabusa, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Silently, we present our petitions to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we unite, we unite our all our prayers to the loving God by praying our novena prayer. Father and maker of all, you adorn all creation with splendor and beauty and fashion human lives in your image and likeness. Awaken every heart, reverence for the work of your hands, and renew among your people a readiness to nurture and sustain your precious gift of life. Grant us through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be, world without end. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed day, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed day, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brethren, may sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, which we bring in celebration of your saints, Timothy and Titus, and in your kindness, render their fully acceptable by giving us sincerity of heart to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For as on this festival of your saints, Timothy and Titus, you bid your church rejoice, so to you strengthen her by the example of, his, of their holy lives. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so to the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate this memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We'll live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Dear friends, we offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
the body of Christ. 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 As you go to the sick and homebound, take it not only the sacrament we have celebrated, but also the word of God which we have heard, as well as the affection of this parish community. It's the price of those to whom you have to visit in return. Go now with God's peace and blessing.
soul of Christ, sanctify me, body of Christ, save me, blood of Christ, inebriate me, water from the side of Christ, wash me, passion of Christ, strengthen me, oh good Jesus, hear me, in your wounds hide me, separated from you, let me never be, oh the evil one, protect me, at the hour of my death, call me, call me, call me, Praise to you forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, nourish in us that faith taught by the preaching of the apostles, kept safe by the labors of Saints Timothy and Titus to Christ our Lord. We now pray for the intercession of our loving Mother, O Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen of the Angels and Mother of the Americas, Fly to you today as your beloved children. We ask you to intercede for us with your son as you did at the wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving mother, and gain for our nation and world, for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels that we may be spared to worse of this illness. For those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe away their tears and help them to trust. This time of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence, knowing that truly, truly are our compassionate mother. Hail to the seek and cause of our joy. Shelter us in the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always to know the love of your Son, Jesus. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the mighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our Holy Mass has been offered when I go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God.